you may have heard that training in stick fighting will help your knife combat skills. Now you might be wondering how is that possible? They seem really really different. Now you got to remember that the stick was originally a practice tool that substituted for the sword. So there is actually a lot of commonality between the sword and of course the knife. Now with the knife everything is going to be smaller because it's more compact. Your movements are going to be more intricate and a lot more detailed in a very small uh, area. Now with the stick on the other hand it's going to exaggerate the movements because it's a lot bigger. So in a way it's like looking through a magnifying glass and it makes learning the small details and the intricate stuff a lot easier. Stick fighting to me is like a puzzle. Uh, I just practice over and over and as I do that it's almost like a Rubik's Cube that I'm constantly working on and as I do that I may discover new patterns, uh, new techniques, new types of movements that I didn't uh, know that I could do before and it's really rewarding when you find something new like that. It's exciting and it's very challenging and then you go back to just continuing on and finding more new stuff so uh, it's really really engaging a big chunk of what I do comes from the Filipino martial arts and I teach my students the heaven six what we're trying to do here is we're trying to learn it and really understand it uh, backwards and forwards inside outwards you know just to really really get it down and have a deep understanding of that form now Bruce Lee was not a big fan of forms in fact he called training in forms uh, a dead pattern now what we're trying to do here with the Heaven Six is once you get it down really really well this very rigid form uh, we try to do everything we can to mess you up once you get it down really well so one of the things I do is like we put stuff onto the ground like obstacles you can put uh, dumbbells you can put um, you know water jugs you know all kinds of different things pillows and stuff that you have to maneuver around as you're doing it. Also try doing it against a very close to a tree and try your best not to hit the tree. See how close you can get, you know, or, or try doing it in a very confined area. You know, so these are some of the things that we work on, you know, just to increase our understanding. But uh, the main idea is once we really, really get it down like that and we become very comfortable with it, we start adding different techniques to it, uh, different patterns, variations, and as we do that, you're going to find out that once you start it with this very rigid form, you eventually go into free form. Before you know it, when you start mixing in everything, the pattern just it goes away and it's so intermixed, so intertwined that you're just doing whatever you know and and that's the whole idea but the very beginning you do have to start with with a very rigid ABC so to speak so once you learn your ABC's then you'll be able to create words sentences and then maybe you'll go into poetry and even writing stories and stuff so that is the whole idea <laughs> 